Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's 10 p.m. on a Friday night. I'm about to do a nice five mile run. Doing more runs to prep for the half marathon. So let's see how this goes. All right. Sorry for not recording anything during my run. I uh, was just focusing on the run. And I was also listening to a podcast at the same time. So I wasn't really paying attention to um, vlogging. But I did the five miles. And it went really well. I only did one planned break at the two and a half mile mark. Uh, of course, you don't know. Um, my IT band has been giving me running issues uh, for a while since my first half marathon. Um, so, or we're still making very good progress though. I didn't have any IT band issues. Um, the run was really smooth. It didn't rain, even though it, it, it might have, there was a chance for rain. Um, and yeah, um, you see the stats right up here, but it's not a true five miles because the phone GPS, like we've talked about before in my previous vlogs, Phone GPS is, is very inaccurate. So uh, I actually only ran like four and a half miles. Um, but I, the reason that I didn't run a full five miles is because I didn't run my usual loop. Um, I have this one mile loop that I know is a mile uh, from like looking it up online on, on the map. Um, except I didn't run that route. I ran a different route. I wanted to mix it up. Um, and so I, I didn't actually check beforehand. Um, but yeah, the run is good. I'm emphasizing my running more now, like I said, because, um, we got the half marathon in like two weeks. So that's actually really exciting. Um, it's gonna be my, my first, not actually, not my first race since my, my last half marathon. I did a half marathon in 2022. And after completing it, I injured my IT band by, by straining it too hard. Um, but I did actually do a, a 10K uh, in 2023. Um, but I still had been ha having uh, IT band problems, knee problems. Um, so I have never really been able to run that much. Like during the 10K, I was like fighting my knee because I was like on the verge of, of irritating it again. Um, but yeah, when I, when I started running this year, I could only do like, um, like, like less than 10 minutes before it started to really get irritated. Um, but I found that very incremental, very slow progress has helped it, uh, regain its, its strength. Like, I guess, I don't know. I'm progressing slowly and, um, I'm hoping that it's, it's going to keep progressing and improving slowly. But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do um, a workout today, and I know I'm kind of slack on the lifting aspect of of my my fitness. Um, last week I, I worked out, but this week I did not um, lift weights because I am kind of just more focusing on the running. Um, I should at least bench though. Because, I mean, it's very late now. It's it's 11.50 now. Um, so I'm not going to bench. But I think even though I am emphasizing my runs, I think next time I'm supposed to lift, I, 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 I think I will do benching and running. Because, um, of course, you, you can do that. <clears throat> uh, I, like I said before, this is my first time doing multiple um, different fitness goals at once. So... I'm lifting and I'm running and I'm doing Muay Thai, um, which all complement each other. I've talked about, uh, maybe I'll talk about it more in the future, but uh, they they are different goals. So it's it's a lot harder than just focusing on one goal because your 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 mind is split. But I like doing all those three things. So I'm gonna continue lifting, running, and doing Muay Thai. Um, speaking of Muay Thai, I have Muay Thai tomorrow. Uh, sparring, which should be fun. I'm a, I'm gonna focus on using the teep again. Um, just just getting better at at the teep, fainting with with push kicks. Um, uh, I, I've been practicing a little bit here in my house, just like 
um, keeping like the couch pillows and just practicing my range and going in and out. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty good though. But the run, just to recap the run, it was it was a, re a really good run. I felt good and I felt like I could have done more. So I'm looking forward. I'm going to try and not get injured before the half marathon. Uh, but this weekend, I have a, a nine-mile run plan. So it's going to be the longest run before the half marathon. And I'm going to see how my knee holds up. Um, going to test out some mid-run nutrition. My blood sugar, uh, um, speaking of which, was good during this run. I ate a banana and drank some juice. No, ate a banana and had gummies. Uh, I don't know. I forgot. I ate a banana and had a pack of um, Mott's fruit gummies uh, before the run, like 15, 10, 15 minutes before. And that helped. Like my blood sugar went up a little bit, but then it kind of stayed um, throughout the whole 50 minutes I was running. And I, I did have gummies mid run once during my walk break. Um, but I don't know if I needed it. Uh, I definitely would have needed it if I ran further because it started to go down, uh, started to go low. Not low, but like it was dropping by the time I finished my run. Um, so yeah, with me, I, I just need constant carb fuel like every hour. Um, maybe a higher, a much higher amount than normal people will. It, it seems like, uh, and I, I did eat, um, I ate a decent amount before my run, but not a lot of carbs. So maybe that has to do with it. And of course, I'm not going to be able to run without carbs on a, a low protein diet, a low, low, low carb diet, unless I spend a lot of time getting my body used to that. Um, you know, that's still up in the air. I think for this half marathon, I don't know if I'm going to get into uh, an adapted state of, of low carb. That's just, that's something that's going to have to be experimented with um, over time. But I might just carb load and just, yeah, eat a bunch of carbs before my run and during my run for this half marathon to make sure my blood sugar doesn't go low. Yeah. But yeah, uh, successful day. Um, I think that's it for me for now uh i will talk to y'all later oh i <laughs> that reminds me i got some hey, don't go don't leave yet the video's not over yet um i got some comments on my one reel which is crazy um because i posted it a few days ago but like it's the reel popping off again now it's getting in the algorithm which is really interesting. I got like two more subscribers from it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's the one thing I do like about YouTube as opposed to like TikTok or Instagram. If you post something on TikTok or Instagram, it either takes off or it doesn't. And old videos don't get, um, don't get shown. Uh, but on YouTube, like you're kind of building like a, a gallery where you know even if a video doesn't pop off like videos that are years old can can hit the algorithm and become relevant based on you know whatever is relevant in the algorithm and that's something i really like because it's you're, you're you know you post a bunch of tiktoks and after a while they kind of like disappear but you know everything you make on youtube is is still on youtube and still can be found um so that's something i really like and that's and that that longevity and that that portfolio is kind of why I like YouTube and why I want to stick on it as opposed to doing any other platform. Um, just because YouTube feels more real, and it's I feels like a like a better place to be than TikTok or or Instagram. It feels like healthier, um, more maybe a, a better audience, I should say. Uh, but yeah, I got a, a comment. Um, and it was saying, yeah, got got my first hate comment, which is really funny. Um, but you know, it's it's not it's not something people. 
you're going to get hate comments all over YouTube and uh, it's always, it's best to just ignore them or whatever. I don't know why I'm giving advice. Like I'm some sort of seasoned YouTuber. Um, I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm kind of just excited that uh, there's some sort of interaction on my channel, you know, um, good comments and, and bad comments. So I don't know. It's, it's a fun time. Um, it's kind of weird because I, I guess I never imagined my videos, anyone to see them. And that's, I'm, I'm talking like I'm, I'm blowing up, but it's, it's just like, oh, like, oh, someone commented on my video. Uh, interesting. Like, I don't know. It, it's, it's a, it's a fun time, YouTube. Anyways, I'm going to talk to y'all later and, um. I hope you enjoy your night. Uh, keep keep working on your goals. Stay dedicated. With consistency comes results, as long as you learn along the way. I'll talk to you later. See you.